the Star Citizen flight model slowing down. The flight model being super fast and needing to be slowed down has been something I've been passionate about for a while. If you've hang, hung around the channel or watched some of my older videos, you may have seen the ones where I talk about it and ultimately conclude that the flight model needed to be slowed down. So when this when this uh, last ship Q&A came out and they, the answer to pretty much every single question was either, hey, slowing down ships will fix this or we will look at this after we slow down ships. It was a very exciting time because I'm, I think this is a great thing for the game overall, especially for combat. And today I kind of wanted to go over some scenarios where I really see this improving the low to mid tier pilot enjoyment of combat. Now I'm not a high level pilot, so I can't really speak for them, but the low to mid, I'm probably somewhere in there around that so i'll talk about that and then i'll kind of address some like pvp and pve stuff about it and then maybe some things that they need to address by bringing in the slow flight model that they need to think about but let's just jump right into it so first off we're going to kind of start with uh low tier pvp fights back when i was a lower tier pilot back when i was first right getting right into the game it was a lot of jousting like you would do one pass shoot some rounds then you'd flip back around and try and get get back at them and shoot some more rounds. The problem with this was uh, with how the shields recharge, you typically weren't doing enough damage to get through their shields all the way. And if you were, you're doing very minimum, minimal hole damage. So for me, at least flipping around, my shields would be back up fully charged. His shields would be back up fully charged and fights would just take forever and be super boring, which eventually like I addressed this issue by just getting a ship with more guns, which wasn't the answer. The answer was more of my skill level so that I could get through shields and hit the whole of the ship more. But anyway, it, I think that just made for a very boring and long arduous fighting system for new players. However, when you slow down the speeds, you're no longer going to be Thou or yeah, thousands of meters away from each other after you flip around, you're still going to be in range, so you're going to be able to keep damage on ships even if you are jousting or doing some kind of lower level and your, your aim's not good, stuff like that. You're going to be close enough that you're still going to be able to do damage and keep damage on the shields and get into the hole. Fights at a low level are going to be a lot faster, a lot more enjoyable, a lot more intense. So I think this is a great thing for people getting into it. I think we're going to see a lot more people get into PvP and combat in this game just because it's going to be a lot more enjoyable just to jump in like that now at the mid levels this is kind of where probably i ended it because it was it just didn't get like that part of it got better like the jousting but the boringness of the fight still kind of remained now not every single fight was boring but a lot of fights that you are facing off somebody at your level the what was going to happen was either you would take some damage or realize you're losing and just run away or they would and they would run away and that was most of the fights now you could still probably take out pe lower level people than you because they didn't really know what they were doing you, you could get them and people who are way above you could get you fast enough and do some stuff where you couldn't get away but like if you're fighting people at the same level which should have been a close and intense and fun adrenaline pumping fight it was basically oh wow he's beating me let me leave or Oh, I'm beating him. He ran away, which is not nearly as satisfying as being able to finish the fight for either of the player. So with slower speeds, it's going to be you're going to be a lot more committed to those fights. and It's going to be a lot harder to get away, at least from what I think, how I think it will affect the game. So if you're winning the fight, your opponent's not just going to be able to run away. If you're losing the fight, you're not going to be able to run away either. But it should be a really intense adrenaline pumping fight instead of kind of a boring thing where you jump where either person just runs away if they start losing to either get their shields back and then get back in the fight or just to completely leave and disengage. So I think that this is going to make mid-level fights a lot more exciting and I'm really looking forward to when this comes back in the game and I can really start focusing and enjoying combat in this game a lot more. Now for PvE, I, this is going to improve PvE as well because right now PvE is a snooze fest and that's a lot of that. Well, the AI is kind of brain dead on the servers right now is part of the problem they can't really hit any shots so they're not really that big of a problem anyway but also another thing is you're in no real danger ever when you pve because well you're in danger of running into an invisible asteroid but that's about it because unless you get too greedy if your shields are going down or you're taking a bad engagement you can just leave and get your shields back and jump back in and do that as many times as you need for the fight so as long as you're not getting too greedy and playing and playing it safe you can just basically take on insurmountable odds of PVE ships with no problem. Like my example is, I was uh, I had a bounty on my head. I th it was five, and I had 
the Navy jump in on top of me. And I don't know if this is a glitch or if this is supposed to happen, but there's 20 plus Navy ships. There's like four or five Mantises in there stopping me from jumping away. So what should have been a super intense fight with most likely me ending up in jail or a crazy unlikely story of me getting away was just kind of a snooze fest of me going in killing a Mantis or two and then when I took too much damage or my shields were getting low, jumping out, getting, or not jumping out, but running away, getting my shields back, and then coming back in. So it was a very, very easy. I was never in any real danger. It was pretty crazy. And they, I'm telling you, it was like the whole nine yards. There's like a bunch of F8 Lightnings, all these crazy ships, and there are tons of them. And it wasn't a problem. It should have been one of the most intense moments, or PV, intense PVE moments in the game for me. And it was just like boring because it took so long to take out the Mantises just because there's so many ships hitting me and I wasn't able to always get one every time I went in and have to get away get my shields back and do that another side benefit of slowing down the speeds is the servers cannot handle the faster speeds very well in this game so if you're slowing them down the servers are going to be able to keep up and combat's going to be a sm more smooth enjoyable experience just from a technical span standpoint now slowing down the flight model speeds in Star Citizen is going to cause some issues uh, traveling is one of the major ones just because there's a lot of long distances that you have to travel in Star Citizen and being able to go a thousand plus meters per second is really what makes that viable. Like getting out of Orison would be ridiculous if you're limited to three, four hundred, maybe five hundred meters per second on the way out versus the thousand that we have now. It already seems like it takes forever at our higher speeds. So they really need to figure out a traversal issue. And like, I think Orison's the biggest example, but also if you're flying down to a spot on the planet that doesn't have a quantum drive beacon, even like going into bounties or drops you 35 uh, kilometers away trying to fly into that would take a while so there's all these things that are going to cause issues with traversal they mentioned that's a problem they have to solve so i'm not going to really try and theory craft on what they're doing another thing that comes along with that if we're flying slower and not able to traverse as much ground probably the hydrogen fuel and all the spaceships need to re be rebalanced because we're no uh, longer able to travel as fast Currently in the game, the way to disengage from combat or get away from pirates trying to steal your cargo or whatever, a major way that they've been leaning on is just speed. Like that's the reason why the Carrick's the best ship to run cargo in if you're gonna if you're worried about getting pirated because it's got the speed to get away and most pirates just won't even mess with it because it's such a pain to deal with. So a lot of things like that where it's like speed's kind of been a crutch they've leaned on where disengaging from like a dogfight pirates or whatever has just been relying on speed it hasn't been very great because either you have a ship that's like the character that's completely op or you got other ships that just can't get away at all and then in dogfighting it's just whenever you want to get away you can so it's just completely broken so they need to figure out what the system for disengaging from a combat looks like and put it into the system i think traders uh, miners, all these people need a chance to get away and it needs to be a fairly equal chance depending on the ship and it should be other factors rather than speed like maybe shields or whole armor stuff like that. It needs to be some kind of skill based thing to get away rather than oh my ship's super fast I can just get away no problem. And then uh, for combat it needs to be a skill based thing that's not as easy as hey I can just leave whenever I want they need to figure that out. Anyway uh, just coming to the end of the video I'm super excited for slowing down combat I can't wait to jump in and try and get better at combat and really improve my skill I think I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more with the slower speeds and just more engaging adrenaline pumping combat in the game now and uh, I want to thank you all for watching the video also if you made it this far in the video I'm trying to add some music to the background of the video uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like it or not